Lecture 37 is a bit of a um, oddity because it's a 5-2 and already told you that the five-fold axis cannot fill space and so it's not going to be a crystallographic uh, point group. And uh, But uh, again, uh, just to draw analogies of duty, remember we could have uh, point groups because they're only points, there's no translation vectors that allowed us to see you know octagons and uh, pentagons and all sorts of things like that uh ev you know because it was only when we tried to look at uh, our rotations compatible with lattice translation in in 2d that we actually limited it to one two three four six right so here um we're doing the same thing uh wanted to just show you that you could have point groups that of course, can't be put into a lattice, but it doesn't mean we can't have those symmetries and point groups. I remember the starfish analogy in the lecture we were covering that we said a starfish has fivefold symmetry. It's just that it, you know, except for a specific case like quasi crystal, where you actually pair it with another uh, fundamental unit cell, uh, that uh, primitive cell that will allow it to replicate, replicate through the lattice. But of course, it still doesn't have translational symmetry. So, our proof holds right so here it's same thing and as you can tell like with the odd ones and this makes sense right because remember ultimately the thing about odd ones is that it means that there's an unpaired side coming through here and what that means is that of course when we go and we put a rotation you know that goes through this it has to appear on the other side right and that's why the odd ones uh, tend to not have unique other twofold axes, right? Where, you know, for example, in the fourfold case, you know, the axes go through there, but we end up with unique axes the other way. Uh, in this case, remember A and B in the last lecture are 45 degrees apart. And so uh, that's why the odds tend to um, have this 5 2 instead of the, you know, 2. You'll see on the next page, I'll draw that again. And it's because, of course, the axis has to pop out the other side. And so you really don't generate another unique uh, two-fold axis. And again, so it's just a demonstration, but also to remind you that you can have point groups in 3D that are non-crystallographic. So right across the top of this uh, page, we have non-crystallographic to remind you that uh, this is not going to be appearing in our crystallographic 3D uh, point groups. But um, you know, it is a point group, uh, just like we're able to, to show that, uh, you know, you can have a starfish. Um, you just can't fill space with starfishes. And here, we're going to show you as well, by writing it just this way, that's why it's a 5-2, is because you don't create any unique uh, uh, axes. So um, here, uh, notice that um, if I have a pentagon, it's 360 divided by 5, so point to point, this is 72 degrees. So gamma is 72, right? It's 360 divided by uh, 5. And so gamma over 2 is 36. And so you're going to have 36 degrees between uh, the alpha axis and the beta axis. And you see that here, if I were to draw this, here I'm not going to draw the stereographic projections for you because this one is just not that important, but it, is unique to show you that you can have just like in 2d point groups that don't fill space and of course remember it's 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 uh, this one that would be coming out this edge here right that this whole one here uh, would be um, the 72 degrees and remember the angle between our a and B is 36 from our gamma over 2, right? <clears throat> and, um, you know, if I were to draw that uh, stereographic thing, you know, I'd have to do something like this. And, you know, if we had a two-fold axis, it would come out the other side. So when I, when I take a two-fold axis and come out the point... On the other side, again, because of lack of symmetry, I actually create this one, which comes out the other side, and that's going through perpendicular to an edge, and that's why I don't generate another twofold. It generates this other kind by definition. So here, when I go 30, uh, 
uh, 36 degrees away uh, when I do my uh, beta one. So this is the, uh, you know, I think I'm generating a new one that's going to be B, right? Because, ah, it's 36, not 72 away, right? So I think it's going to be B. But look what happens on the other side. This actually passes through that point. So I would get this anyway by rotating through the other ones, you see, because the second one would be this one here. So even though I think I'm doing a unique thing by going 30 degrees, I'm not going to the next point, which would be another 72. Actually, um, it comes out the point on the other side. So I would generate anyway when I came over here after two rotations. So these are not unique. They're all basically A, so it's very similar to the 3-2 um, to the three two case. And uh, we can show also our motif situation. If I draw a motif here and I rotate through a pi first, this is one, this is two, then I rotate around the B axis, which is this one here. So I go, right. and then you can see here that these two are related by gamma rotation around C axis, which is 72 degrees, right? And so all is good because three is related to one by the C two pi over five.